Well, uh, just woke up from a nap. Cat nap. And I felt it was weird because I'm like, you know, I think I'm about to get a message. You know, spirit's going to give me something. So I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to take a nap. I was tired. I felt like, I, yeah, I definitely was tired enough. I can take a nap. And, uh, but I'm like, I just felt like spirit is going to give me something. So go take a nap. So I went to bed and, um, I mean, a nap, whatever, a couple hour cat nap. And, uh, first of all, my friend Bill sends me a text a couple days ago. Hey, or maybe it was last night. Hey, check out the video, you know, the black fly. So the black fly is made by a company called opener and it is a manned drone. You can go look at pictures. I've put up videos before. They were recently at the Oshkosh event, the yearly Oshkosh event, which is like the biggest, you know, airplane and experimental and all that stuff uh, thing of the year. My friends who sell the trikes, those, uh, you know, powered hang gliders, basically, the ones you sit in, the, the trikes, two-seater, they go up to that. She took video of it for me. They talked to some of the people there at, at the exhibit, the booth for, for uh, the Black Fly, you know, asked a bunch of questions, blah, blah, blah. So, Anyway, my friend sent me this video, and I'm like, oh, I've already, you know, I didn't even reply, but I got, I already saw it. <laughs> it's a month old. I already saw that. What are you doing sending me month old stuff, bro? So, I watched it for a bit. I go, yeah, I've already seen it, but I'm like, yeah, it's cool. It's the Black Fly, you know, I'll, I'll watch it again. And they just did a very short demo in a field, a grass field at Oshkosh. Um, they showed them, like, putting the two wings on it, you know, they have the propellers, all this stuff. So, I watched it again I've already seen it but I just watched it again that was you know earlier today actually not too long ago <laughs> Darius what so uh, a while back like not too long ago but a little while back I had a dream first ever of the black fly I got one Except it was way different in my dream. I had these these shoes on that were like black fly shoes. Each shoe had like two propellers. <laughs> like, whatever. And I'm flying around this little department store with these damn things. Like, check this out. Like, showing everybody this the black fly. Look at this thing. It's a man thing. You know, you could fly around. Everybody was watching me. And I thought it was so cool to, to just show them this. But that was a weird looking black fly. Okay, I was like, they don't make those. But I knew in the dream, I got a black fly. So I go... Well, you know, they said this fall, they're thinking that's when they're going to release the first 30, I think. And like, you know, i got to have one. i got to have one. So I'm like, I think Spirit show me you're going to get one of these. You know, like, yeah, just be patient. You're going to get one. So I'm like, cool. You know, so I'm, I think I mentioned that in one of the live streams I did with JC or Woo Woo Dude or something. I didn't do an actual video on it. You know, well, not worth doing a video on some little silly dream like that. So anyways, I go take a nap tonight, today. And I'm like, you know what? I don't normally play the like Indian drumming type music when I take a nap, but I do at night when I sleep or when I'm trying to sleep. Um, and also, I take a break. Sometimes I don't listen to it every single night. You know, I just take a break. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to listen to it. I just want to go take a, you know, go to sleep. But today I'm like, oh, I felt, I, I, and I even knew the song. I go, ah, uh, yeah, you need to play that one type of music. So I've got the, what they call Egyptian music. You can find it on YouTube too. How they determine that, I don't know, but I found some. And I listen to that sometimes at night. Julianne, the channeler, had told me, you need to listen to that too. And she's like, whenever you're thinking about doing your digging or going to New Mexico or exploration or anything like that, she goes, we think you should listen to this. This is like, you know, visualize yourself being there, doing whatever you're doing, and the rest of the story will play out. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. So I went to bed today. You know, just I literally just woke up. Like, I'm looking for wrinkles on my face or whatever. I, I just woke up. <laughs> this whole nap, man, I just... And a lot of times I don't take a nap during the day. I, today I just felt like I need to. Spirit's got a message. And I'm like, I'm going to take a nap. So I did. And um, I wasn't thinking of anything. Literally nothing. Clear mind, blank mind, like Spirit. Show me anything you want to show me. I'm not asking any questions. I'm not asking for something. Just show me whatever I need to see. You know, show me whatever you want. So I get a black fly in this dream. It's not some jabroni shoes or some weird iteration of it. It's the real, as Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit once said, this is the real mother deal, y'all. This is the real deal. Okay? 
I have the black fly, exactly how it looks, exactly how it operates, and it's mine. I bought it, it's already mine, I have it, and I'm gonna be flying, I'm flying this son of a bitch for the first time. And I'm like, I'm guessing, I think I was at my house in this dream, and so the, the airport that my friends are, that have those trikes, is in Zephyr Hills, Florida. And uh, there's a small private, or not private, it's actually a government, but it's a small airport. And uh, I know in this dream, for whatever, I, that's where I'm going. So I'm, in, I'm operating this thing, and it's just like a drone, like the left stick was, you know, like, I think up and down. The right stick was forward, backward, you know, left, right and the left stick could make you spin so if, if that's how it works in real life and I don't know yet because I've I just don't know because on a drone the left stick does that up and down and spins in a circle the right stick is forward backward you know like strafe if you will left and right or where kind of you know banks left and right doesn't turn it just banks right so it that's how it worked in the dream strangely enough and I you know I, I wasn't con you know making my dream go how it was going it was just going how it was going like most dreams do but i do have some control because i remember flying this thing where i wanted to fly it so i fly past this place in new uh, new mexico <laughs> in zephyr hills i fly past it and i'm like man i, I and back and i remember like like uh, dive bombing this like little golf course where there's a couple guys and i say dive bombing just flying down low and then coming back out and going up and you know, I can just barely see them like, whoa, you know, check that out, you know. And I keep going up to this area and there's like this abandoned parking lot with like a a big uphill thing. I get up to that, I, I flip it and like spin it around, come back down. I'm going back, you know, home if you will. But I was meeting some people somewhere else. So I go, okay, well, I'm, I'm whatever. I came back and I'm like, wow, I still got 12% battery left. And I'm like, man, I, I'm, like, I'm like, guys, you know how far I went? I went like to this place and back, like. And I still got 12%. So now I'm back and there's some friends and people that are like, well, I already landed it. And they're like, well, you know, show us, show us, you know, show us this thing a little bit. And I'd had some, in this dream, I had a, an extra set of spare batteries too. So I don't know what the batteries are going to cost for this thing. And this will be amazing if this is actually true. I don't, I have no idea the size of the batteries. Like, are there four like separate battery banks and each one is how many kilowatts? You know, I don't know. What I do know, though, because I've looked, and not in any recent time, I think the American version is going to have 8 kilowatts, I think is what the number was, total battery capacity. Uh, and then the European version was going to have 12, because I remember it was like 50% more battery power. To keep it under experimental, they have to have certain limits. So, uh, an experimental means you don't have to have a license or anything. You can just, they'll teach you how to flight in a couple hours, they say, just, like, you're done. Um, so in the dream, I had four, two kilowatt each battery packs that I realized, like, you can't just use one of them. You have to use all four. So if you got done flying the thing, you don't want to wait for it to charge up. You got spare battery packs. You can just change out the battery packs fairly quickly. And at least in my dream. So I, I bought four of the battery packs because you need four to replace the four that are in this thing. Now, again, I don't know. If in real life there's only four battery pack main unit things or whatever, you know, four, 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 that would be, or excuse me, two, two, two kilowatts each. Four of the two kilowatts, so two, four, six, eight. And in my dream, that's what I had. So in real life, I wake up and I'm like, well, there is actually eight, I believe it's eight kilowatt pack. And if it's eight kilowatts, then two, four, six, eight, if there's four. I don't know if there's four in this thing. I really don't know how many this thing holds. But... I'd like to maybe find out and see how accurate that might have been in my dream. Oh, no, Joe, there's actually four. And they are actually two kilowatts each. Holy shit. Really? So I had the spares, but I'm like, well, I got 12% left. I mean, they just want me to zip down there right there and back and just do like a little turn or something, a little spin, come back. I'll do that. So I, I zip down there and I'm like real close to the ground. I go to turn and like, and it had this little, something got caught, right? It had like this, this little small rope with the hook on it and it got caught. And there's like this little small, real small like palm tree that's only, a, you know, two or three feet high. Little, one of those little fat, thick ones. I think it was already in like bad shape. But it was like in this little, you know, dug out hole thing, if you will. And I don't know if that's where the palm tree used to be or they were trying to plant it in there and it wasn't working out or whatever. 
And I'm like, I go to move. I'm like, what the hell? What's going on? And I look down. I'm like, holy shit. Okay, set it down. Set it down. I'm like, what the hell? How'd this thing? But it was, it wasn't on my aircraft. This hook thing was a part of the tree. Whatever. Like, it was attached to the tree and then it was laying there. So somehow the tail of my thing picked it up. And like, I'm yanking at this tree. Like, what the hell? Oh, shit. Put it down for a second. You know, I didn't have much battery. So I, I just set it down. I just step out. Boom. I'm like, what the heck is this stupid thing? Like, oh, whatever. So I unhook it. All right, I'm good. Get back in it. Get back up. Fly right towards my people. And there's a railroad track right there in the stream where it makes a sharp left turn. And I'm, I, I just fly over it. And I go to turn around because I was going to come back and then land it on back now on the other side of the road track, which is where everybody's standing for the most part. But there were people on both sides of the track, like friends or whatever. So I now all of a sudden I hear a train coming. Burr, burr, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like... Well, it ain't gonna hit me. I mean, I'm over here and I already landed it. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll go back across that track and then land it. But I'm going, nah, I'll just, I'll just leave it here. Like, so I moved forward a little bit, set it down, watched the train come, and that was it. And then I woke up. So again, last time I had shoes that represented the black fly. Two shoes with like little tiny propellers on them or something. And I was buzzing around a store like you know with a jetpack except on my shoes. You know, some kind of cool. I don't know how that could pick a human up, obviously, but in my dream it did, and I knew it was a black fly back in that dream. So I woke up and I go, oh man, first black fly dream I've ever had, and I've, ha I've of course I've known about the thing for you know two years now. I think it debuted in 2018. Uh, and me, Cliff, and Bix, I think we're doing a video at that time, and someone had sent me the video, and I go, guys, I gotta play this. We're talking about the fly floaty devices, right? Cliff, check this out. So I ended up playing it while we were all doing our three amigos chat for the first time. That was the video I used. And um, I'm like, oh my God, I got to have one of these, you know. So the only other dream I had ever about this was about a month and a half ago, I think. Two months, maybe at the max. And it was these little shoes. But I knew in the dream, you got a black fly. This is it. And you're showing people how to check this out. Like, this is so cool. And when the freaking department start flying this thing. I'm like, guys, everybody, look at this. Look at this. You know, and everyone's looking at me. Whoa, you know. So... Now, today, just now, moments ago, basically, I got the real thing in my dream. It looked like the real thing. It flew, I'm assuming, like the real thing, because it sure acted like it when I was in it, where you take off and you know, you're looking up at the sky and you go up and then, you know, like the way it does, uh, if you see any of the videos. And I'm just buzzing around, having a good time, flying, hauling butt out there, do a little maneuvers, you know. And then I remember seeing the, like the golf course, the two guys at the golf course, I'm just swooping down, you know. All that stuff. And the funny thing is, there's a golf course, actually, come to think of it. Zephyr Hills on the south end of uh, runway 23, I think, which is runway 5, if you're going north. So, right at the end of, beginning of 5, if you will, or end of 23, is a golf course. And like in real life, I'm just thinking about this, going, wait a second. I mean, if you flew the thing, you probably would fly, you know... You could fly to the Zephyr Hills Airport if you wanted to, you know, go go land it basically and, you know, hover taxi like a helicopter would do down to your friend's hangar. That's actually what I would do. Like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> come to think of it. So that's interesting that I had that dream and I'm zipping down there, you know. But I also instinctively knew that whoever that was at the golf course, they did a video. And someone emailed me in the dream a video, like, Joe, check this out, you know. And I'm like, that's me in the black fly. And the person comment commenting about it was like, oh, my God, who is this? If you ever see this video, whoever you are, oh, my God, this is so cool. I want one of those. What is that? You know, uh, here's us playing golf. Watch it fly by. We, you know, and here's friend all excited. They're both excited. Like, And there's like a little um, visual like image kind of a thing, I think, where you know, it came up. He didn't, I don't know if he said it and then displayed it. But it, that's when I read it, and I was like, yeah, whoever you are, if you if you happen to see this video and you were flying that thing, please tell me who, where I can get one, what it is, you know, that was so cool, you know. And then someone happened to email it to me, and it was actually me, my video, essentially, they're, you know, uh, it's a video of me flying the thing. And I go, oh, well, I'll reach out to them, because that's me, it is me. And somebody, YouTube subscriber, sent me the video of a black fly flying, not knowing that's me flying the damn thing. So I'm like yeah that's me and, and i'll and i'll reach out to the guy you know so that was kind of cool but i do remember like okay i've got 
you know, 6% battery left, 9, you know, 9%, 6%. I was getting down, you know, and I'm like, okay, we're getting, you know, I, I got to turn around and just land over there because that's getting a little, you know, we're getting low. And that's when I saw the train coming, but I remembered I got, I got spare batteries. So all I got to do is land and pop them out and put these four back in and I'm good to go. So again, I don't know if real life, this thing has four battery banks. I know it has redundancy to where if a battery failed or something, the other ones could kick in and it would still work and all that. If a, a couple of the motors, you know, propellers quit working, it could still fly, you know, like it's got all this redundancy. So anyways, I just, <laughs> just wanted to share that because I think this is a sign. It is getting really, really close for that announcement of Black Fly. Hey, we're getting ready to take our first 30 orders. And Jay Snip is going to be cutting the line, punching people in the face virtually to get my ass in there in the first 30. I must, you must, you must have one. I have to. And if I have to overpay a little bit, oh, we're going to let it go to auction. You know what? I might just to have one of those sons of bitches. But there is 30, and I don't know that all 30 are going to go to auction. Because they talked about they might do an auction at Oshkosh to my friend. They told her, we might do an auction, see what happens. We might not. We might just say no, let's sell it for the price we planned with, which they still didn't say what it was. And I just thought, either way, maybe they'll do the first few at auction. I can kind of see what they go for. And if it's reasonable, I'll be on an auction anyways. If it's kind of high and all the you know millionaire billionaires are, are you know at the auction bidding on this thing, well, then maybe I'll wait for them to say, okay, the, the bidding's done. Now we're just going to offer the price. Here's what we want. You know, like we said, it'd be around the price of an SUV. So we're asking, uh, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for one of these things. Mm, okay. All right. I got to make it happen. Why? Because I must, must have one of these. But I got to tell you, and I, and I was thinking about this recently. I've had a f couple of dreams where I did not listen to music that night. And it's been a few nights since I listened to it anyways. I was kind of taking like a week break of music. Well, not, maybe not a week, but several days not listening to music at night the drumming stuff and i'm like yeah i think i just had kind of like a regular dream and i'm going well, yeah but i'm not listening to the music and i got the sneaky suspicion that if you listen to the music that's when you go from just having a dream to having a prof prophetic dream like that's when you get the messages otherwise you're just getting a jabroni dream or maybe it's like a little bit of a prophetic dream mostly jabroni how are you even supposed to know i don't know which one's which so when I went to take this nap, I'm like, no, I need to listen to music. And I'm already playing the music in my head. I go, oh, yeah, I haven't listened to that Egyptian music in a while. But I usually only listen to that if I'm concentrating, like, on New Mexico, mountain, treasure hunting. Not, hey, spirit, show me anything you need to show me. So this time I'm like, well, whatever, spirit, show me anything I need to see. Thank you. And I'm going to play this music. I already got the song figured out. That's the one I want. Boom. And then it happened. And I listened to that music for a while. And then I, and I was like, okay, I'm still awake when I think when I decided, okay, I've been listening to this long enough. I'm going to take it off the ear, earphones off my head now. So I set them down, turn them off, set them down, roll over, get my wife's little thin pillow to cover my eyes because the window was there a little bit bright. And I think I, that boom, I went out, I had the dream, woke up like quick. But my mind, I think because of the music, the right music was, it's, it's like preps your mind and body for the open channel, if you will, the spirit. And I was thinking earlier, like the last few days, I'm going, you know, sometimes I listen to the music, but I listen to it real, kind of short, like, dude, you only listen for 10 minutes, you know. And I'm thinking, you know, I think there might, there might be like a threshold. You need at least 20 something minutes, a half hour, you know, like minimum. And if you listen to longer, fine. If you don't, fine, doesn't matter. And I'm just having this thought, like, I wonder if that's, that might be the case. So this time I'm like, I'm going to listen to it for a while. And I did. But I don't remember falling asleep with the music playing. And I'm just sitting there going, okay, I feel tired. And I think I've had enough of the music. I've been listening to it for a while. Turn it off. Headphones away. Roll over. Boop. Dream. And I'm like, well, how long have I been out? I don't know. But I felt like I just woke up. Okay, I'm out. <coughs> or not out, but I'm up. And I said, let me go do a video right away. Just for the hell of it. So, here it is. Take care. And... Let's see how soon those black flies come, because I think we're close.